Hey, G Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So, today's episode, we got this cool under here, and basically, what this is is the OBD2 scanner to check your car when you guys see like the blinking light when it does say require maintenance or something. If you can see for the one that we got right here from this brand, and right here is basically what the package looks like when you guys do get it. Let me actually open up to show you guys what the product looks like. So first thing inside, they do probably got a little piece of paper to show you guys how to actually set it up and how to use it. So pretty much what you guys want to do is to download the app first. Once you guys finish downloading the app and setting it all up, what you're going to do is plug it into your car. And after you guys plug it into your car, you guys want to start your vehicle. And then once you guys look in the app, it should show you guys the result on there. But you can see right here, we do have the product. So let's do take it out. Once you guys do take it out, this is what the product looks like. So literally all you need to do is just plug this into your car. And then once you guys plug it in, like I mentioned, if you guys start your engine, it should show you guys the result on the app. So just to show you guys what the app looks like, let me show you guys really quick. So here is basically what the app looks like once you guys finish downloading it. So you basically have a tap to scan option, view past scan, incident history, and all the other options on here as well. So we got to scroll down. There's a lot of different options available on here for you. So you can feel free to play around with it to see what you guys want to check on here when you guys use the device. But that is everything that's on the product. Now I'm just going to plug this in to show you guys how to set it up and how to use it. And then we'll come back and talk more product in a second. So when you guys go underneath your car, here is basically where it's plugging in. So depending on what car you guys do have, but mine's right here. So I want to plug it in. So once you guys plug it in, this is what it actually looks like right here. So now let's check the app. All right. So once you guys plug it in, what you're going to do is turn on the car. And you guys want to press right here. So I found the sensor, so you want to set it up and you guys want to name it whatever you guys want and it give you guys the option to use premium if you guys want to if not, you can skip it right here So let me see how it's scanning the device right now to see what's wrong So once you guys finish scanning, it'll show you guys what's wrong with your car if there is anything wrong with it So you do the manual test right here if you guys want to So the main reason why I actually got the device is because right here, we can see how it does say maintenance required and when I check it with the actual device, there's nothing wrong so it's probably just like a regular maintenance or something and pretty much want to scan your device, it'll show you guys what you guys need to do. So these are all the recommendations, etc. So I'm right here, it'll show you guys what to do around this range. So very easy and very simple for you to use the device. But we say it does work. Welcome right, back, guys. So nice little quick test of part and definitely actually does work. Actually works quite well. And we see how once you guys plug it in and turn on the car, it show you guys the result on there pretty instantly. So that way you can get an idea of what's wrong with the car. So that way if you guys need to bring it into the car dealership, that they won't scam you or whatever. And obviously, once you guys do scan it and you guys can see what the issue is, if you guys can fix it yourself, then feel free to do so. But that is basically everything that's on the button. Now to go unboxing and test the button. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth it or not. So for this part, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. If you guys want to need one of these, especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality OBD2 scanner that you can use to check your car, then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. <laughs> but then obviously, for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or haven't wanted these, obviously don't buy one and save your mind something else that you do need so that's basically everything for this video itself if you guys like this video make sure to smash that like button in the bottom that will definitely help this video out and it'll definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well but as always make sure to stay positive be you and i'll see you guys in the next episode of is it worth it peace